admirable. Um, and this is an internal investigation that I'm conducting, okay? Um, it's different from the criminal investigation, okay? Um, what you say in here can't be used over in the criminal investigation, okay? Um, I'm going to read you a form that I got filled out here in front of you, and then I'm going to ask you to sign it, okay? Okay. All right, tell me what happened yesterday. That's what I'm interested in specifically about the, the gun and that kind of stuff. Okay. Okay, on yesterday, mm -hmm. when I dropped my mom off at work, okay. I came home, and they had saw a, sh a snake. And I guess they started shooting at the snake or whatever. And I guess the bullet ricocheted and hit the back of the truck. Okay. Okay. That basically it? Yes, sir. Who is they? My um, brother and my cousin down there. Who's your brother? Dequavius. Dequavius? Z. T spell it for me. Z A Q V Z. Z? A Q U A V I U S. What's his last name? Robinson. Troutman? Robinson. Robinson. Robinson, I'm sorry. Hell, I, I got hearing aids. You'd think it'd be easier to hear. Robinson, okay. And your cousin? Jimmy Walker. Jimmy. Jimmy? Parker? Walker. Walker. Okay. Put those on there today. Okay. Okay, which one was doing the shooting? To be honest, I have no idea. Were you present when the shooting was going on? No, sir. Okay. Um, who was wearing all black? They don't have them all black. The only person that had on, um, I had on blue. Blue? Black shirt. Uh, my gym shorts was kind of black. You said blue shirt? Uh huh. It was no, it was black with blue writing on it. And what kind of um, shorts did you have on? Um, they kind of like a dark blue. Okay, but nobody else was wearing anything dark colored. No, sir. Okay. Um, any anything else you think I need to know about the shooting? No, sir. You don't know which one of your cousins was shooting. You weren't present when the shooting was occurred. No, How long after the shooting did you show up? Probably right, right after it, probably. Okay. And um, now, and this is an administrative here. This is not criminal. And what you're saying in here, I can't go over there and tell Dustin or anybody that might interview you for the criminal, okay? I want you to understand that clearly. Yes, sir. But I don't want you to lie to me either. I'm not. You know there's video. Yes, sir. Okay. Is there anything you want to change about your statement though, thus far? Because it doesn't, the video doesn't show you showing up after the shooting. You understand that? I'm not trying to trick you, John Tavian. Look at me. I, I'm, I'm being honest with you. The video shows you present. Okay, dark clothing, person in the video is you with a handgun. Was it an accident? Were you shooting at the snake? I didn't count. Did you? I didn't shoot no gun. Okay, who shot the gun? That, I don't know. I don't You there in the group? I was there, but 
I mean, you turned with the gun in your hand. The video shows you turning with that gun in your hand. I had my gun, but I didn't. I didn't you had it out. Yeah, I didn't. Okay. I didn't shoot my gun. Was there a snake? Yes. Okay. So whoever was doing the shooting was shooting at a snake. Yes, sir. It was. It was a snake. What kind of snake? That yeah, I don't know. I don't know the difference between snakes. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know. It was you know the triangle heads are poisonous uh, and the narrow heads. I are couldn't not. really. You couldn't tell. Uh. -uh. Okay. Now it was a big black long snake. Okay. I'd have probably shot him too. I don't like snakes. I hate snakes. Uh, me. Either. I've almost been bit twice. Had a, then my nephews and nieces been out in the yard running around the house. And you're you're living there on Johnson Circle. Mm -hmm. I don't I know why. I thought you lived over there in um, mm -mm. I'm still Phil Circle no, Apartments. Sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, all right. So you didn't you didn't shoot, but you had your gun out. You don't want to tell me who shot. I understand. Either one of your um, relatives or either one of them convicted felons. No sir. Okay. Um, if I run their criminal histories, they're not going to come back with anything like that. No, sir. Okay, because that would be a lie in this interview. You understand? If you know it. No, they know. Okay, all right. So, who else had a gun there then? Anybody? No. Hmm? Yours? Okay. Were y'all handing it back and forth? No. Okay. That particular day, I didn't take my gun with me. Okay. All right. Yeah. So you're out there with these guys, with your, your cousin and your brother. Mm -hmm. Y'all see the snake. You get the gun. One of them shoots it. Somebody shoots it. It ricochets and it hits the car. Yeah. Okay. Directly. Why didn't y'all tell that to the deputies when they came over the very first time? The very first, Bostick was the first one that approached mm -hmm. you, right? Why didn't you say, hey, Bostick, man, we were shooting at a damn snake. I didn't mean to hit the, the car. It was an accident. You you realize that that would have been the end of it. Yeah. It was a stupid, stupid mistake, wasn't it? Yeah. Basically. Okay. So why did, why, I mean, you just wanted to protect your cousin, your brother, or yourself? It, it wasn't nothing about me. It's, I don't want them to get in no trouble, and I know they're finna go off to college in a couple of weeks. Okay. Well, reckless conduct is a misdemeanor. I wouldn't have kept them going from co to college. I mean, I don't know about some certification programs. They may look at it and go, oh, crap, no. Yeah. Um, you understand that by not telling them what happened and then them coming after they see the video and asking you again and you tell them no that's obstruction because you know yes, you were present right yes sir okay so you admit to obstructing bostick and brooks Okay. Um, I'm just going to ask you one more time because the video shows you with the gun. Doesn't show anybody else holding it. Did you shoot the gun? No, sir. Okay. Did you get the gun from somebody else? Okay. And you don't want to name who you got it from. Okay. Well, I didn't shoot it. Okay. okay. But you admit to me that you did obstruct Bostick and um, Brooks by not telling them the yes, whole sir. story. Yes, sir. Okay. You understand that's a violation of departmental policy. Yes, sir. Um, because Brooks is a senior officer. You should have told him the truth from the get-go. I understand y'all may have differences of opinions on each other, but uh, what I'm going to do, um, Simmons, is I'll make a recommendation to the sheriff about this situation, what you've told me. You, you've admitted 
and correct me if I'm wrong, okay, you admit that you were in a group of, of people, two of them being um, your cousin and your brother, out there. Were y'all standing next to the road where they found the shell casing in the driveway? The driveway. In the driveway, right near where they found the shell casing? I think so. Okay. All right. Did you see where they found the shell casing? Bostick actually found it. after He actually found it after the first time he talked to you and he was walking out the driveway. That's all caught on his body cam. Okay. Um, but you, you admit that somebody in that group, including you, shot that gun, um, but you deny it's you, and, but you admit that you got the gun back in your hand and that that's probably what got caught on the, the video camera. And what'd you do with the gun? Put it in your car? Yeah, I put it, I put it up. Okay. And so uh, nobody else was wearing all black or dark colors. You were the only one wearing, a, a you said, a, a blue pair of shorts, I think, or dark colored shorts and a black, blue riding shirt. Um, and the video clearly shows somebody in dark clothing holding the gun, and it appears to be shooting the gun. Okay. Um, you admit that you you obstructed Bostick and Brooks, both of that. The um, also the um, after you were told you were under arrest and you walked out, I think you and Brooks had an exchange as y'all were walking off. Were you disrespectful to him at that point? No, sir, I wasn't. Okay. You didn't tell him to go fuck himself or anything? No. Okay. I, I just remember hearing something, I thought, and I didn't have my hearing aids in, so I may have not have caught it right. So, okay. Uh, I think you told him where the gun was. You, you surrendered up the gun. I think somebody got it for him. Um, any questions you want to ask me or... He gonna interview me today, or um, probably gonna let Ed do it. Um, so, so I gotta stay here for a couple more hours. Well, yeah, and then they'll decide on whether or not to charge him criminal. But like I said, this doesn't have anything to do with that. This is for your job, um, and uh, I wanted Captain Shepard to be with me, but unfortunately, he had to go home for medical reasons. Um, you got any questions of me? All right. Um, let's see. Time now. Would you tell me that? Twelve sixteen. All right. Okay. Come on. I'll return you to the jail. Stand out there. All right, and the time we started the form was at 2.51 p.m., and it was on this tape, today's date, June the 22nd, 21. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. So yesterday, uh, earlier you said then, you said your brother, and who, who else was My that? My cousin. Heard? Who's your cousin? Jimmy. What's... Jimmy who? Walker. All right. Y'all was all out in the yard together? Yeah. Okay. All right. And well, I had pulled up. I had pulled up. Okay. You just got off work, right? No, I had just took my mama to work. Okay. Took mama to work. All right. Go ahead. I'm listening. And so I, once they brought the hole out, I, I guess, I, I, don't, I don't scared of snakes. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm scared of snakes. I am too. And I'm going to just go home because I'm ready to go home. My, my, my brother, he grabbed a gun and he tried it. He aimed it at the snake, but it ricocheted and hit the window. And that what happened. I should have told both of them that, yeah, but I was, you know, I was trying to. Protect your brother? Yeah, because he just graduated. He finna leave to go to college, and I didn't want him. Get in trouble. Yeah. I understand. And I had talked to the, my neighbor and stuff. We had, I had told him that I would pay for any wow. damage and stuff. You told them that? Mm -hmm. They still call the police. <laughs> I mean, that was out, I don't know, when the police were called. Okay, did they, did they, did you walk over there and talk yeah, to we, them? Yeah, we talked. We talked. Well, to the woman and the man, or the? Both. And, um. And y'all came to an agreement? Yeah, me and the man did. 
Um, then when they put me in the sheriff's car, he came, he tried to come up to the car and was trying to tell me to go and let him know what happened. So, because he didn't want no charges or anything filed against me. I got you. And so, it just, mm -hmm. Cause I, I did tell him I would pay for everything. I will. Wow. I'm just ready to go. Get this thing for a minute. To the guy, what's the guy's name? You know? I didn't know about Rick. I always know That's about it. Rick. Yesterday when I told it, what happened between, I guess, you and Bostick or you and Dustin? Me and Bostick ain't had no words. It's, it's every time Brooks come around, he, he be at me for some reason. I don't know what the issue is. Okay. This been going on since I came back to work at the jail. How long you been back now? About probably two and a half years. Every you been back that long? Mm -hmm. Okay. Every time he come around and I'm around, it's something, it's something he nitpicking me about. Um, well, it's my, it's always my gun. I always have my gun, cause I got my license to carry it. Mm -hmm. You have every right to touch your gun. And I'm go and I carry my gun. Yeah. I I just don't know. I don't know. I just, I done made up my mind. I'm, I'm after this, I'm giving it up. I'm. If this is what you want to do and you like it, I wouldn't give it up. I wouldn't, I'm going to give up working here. If I got to deal with that every time, no. Did your brother, now where was your car parked at? Was it parked up there? At, or was your, is your car the one that's parked side of the road? Mm -mm. No. My car is the key to Remember, um, I had the awesome, but it got shot. Then that's I right. You came to me that time and asked yeah. this. Okay, okay. So. But yesterday, your kid was parked up close to the uh -huh. house. Then your brother went and got your gun out of the car? No, I, my gun was already... You already had it on you? Yeah. Okay, okay. I keep my gun. I got you, I got you, I got you. Oh, was it in the car? I don't know, was it in the car? Okay. So anyway, he got the gun. And he shot it. Yeah. Did you say something to him, telling him to stop or anything or hold I, I, I told him after it was afterwards. What the hell you do? Yeah. I don't know. I just didn't want you know, he he straight A student graduated with arms. I just didn't want that on him. Did you take the gun from him? Yeah, I took it. Did you walk up and grab it or did you like how did, I mean, did he hand it to you or what? Because they, said, they said in the video now that they see you standing there and then you turn and they said they can see the gun. I hadn't watched, I hadn't seen that video, but they said that Yeah, they I, I, that. I walked up and took it. Just a bad decision. Yeah, basically. Because that gun, if he would have shot the snake in the road, And the bullet would have ricocheted and hit the tank of that car. It could have exploded, yeah. and, you know what I'm saying? Or it could have ricocheted and went through that trailer wall, which, you know, it's like paper thin. Those things almost killed somebody in there. Yes, sir. It was, it, it was a terrible mistake. But he's the one that done it? Yeah. So what happened with you and Dustin, though? I mean, I don't know. I was perfectly fine talking to Boston. Yeah. Doesn't just give me bad vibes. We just can't, we just don't. Well, some people are like that. You just can't, you don't get along. There's some yeah, people just, I meet and I'll be like, I don't like that person. And we just never got it. That's just that. that did he ever tell you to do something? Mm -hmm. You didn't or anything? Oh, did you tell him to fuck off? No. I don't know where that come from. All right. Cause got the rumble, I be there. No, I ain't. I don't know. 
I do have respect, man. I got you. I do have respect. I can. I really can understand if you don't want to get your brother in trouble. So when you said you told him to go get the hose, he, did he walk directly to you from the house? or My cousin brought the hose. You could, uh, Jimmy brought the hose. Jimmy bring the hose to you? Yeah. And then you... I don't know what it was. They, what well, did you mean? hand your brother the gun or did your no, brother... No, 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 no. I ain't handed it to him. How did he get it then? I'm trying to see what was in I believe it was in my car, in my black holster. And, and all of us get a snake. I'm not gonna walk up to that snake and try to get him that hole anyway. I thought one of them was gonna do it. Okay. You got anything else? Yeah. I mean, like, but you went over there and you talked to them and y'all you, you worked everything out. Yeah, I, I don't know why Brooke just, I don't know. I think he was responding to the call, and from my understanding, those folks didn't tell him anything like that. But that's oh. something we got to find out, though. So I still let me, let me, no, hold on a minute. Let me, let, me, let me go over there real quick and ask them to call those folks while we're here, okay? Uh, give me a minute. Hey, Simmons. I told Brooks what you said about it, and I wanted him to come over here and hear it directly from you about after the gun went off, you went over there and y'all had an agreement to pay for the window. They didn't, they didn't say nothing about it yesterday. We got there, the only thing, only time that the snake thing was issued, or issued, I said, said, mentioned, was after you was already in the truck. And you know, he was back there talking to you, or I guess Cardinal or whoever let him talk to you in the back seat. See, I don't know what was said back there, because I was up front, you know where I was at. Yeah. yeah. And while I was trying to do yesterday, while I was trying to get you to tell me what happened, and then, you know, I, guess your, I guess your feet don't got the best of you. I ain't got no, I've already talked to your mama and your daddy with the sheriff this morning. Okay, I got no personal vendetta against you or anybody else. Um. But now, if y'all had an agreement, that wasn't said till after the fact. And now what it looks like is he's trying to double dip. He's trying to make a false insurance claim. So the insurance, he can get a check cut to him, and then you still gonna have to pay to do the stuff if that's whatever agreement y'all had. No, the agreement was, I told him that any damage I would, I would help. And, right. he, and then he, he agreed, that, I guess that was after the, the police were called, or I don't Y'all had to do all that agreement before the police was called, because y'all so had I didn't, I didn't know who called. Did y'all talk about that in the car? Was that before the police got called? Now, um, when he came back there to the car where I was in, I think, Wilson truck, he was saying that, he was telling them that it was a misunderstanding that, um, he just didn't want no, he didn't want no charges and all that filed against me right. if I was going, if I was willing to pay for the damage. Yeah. See, he said that after the fact. When we got there, because at first, I ain't gonna lie to you, I thought a blunt object had hit it because the way the bullet looked. And I had already called him, I said, it don't look like a shooting. I said, I, I can't find an entry wound or in, entry hole. Mm -hmm. I don't see the exit hole. Nothing else is in the thing because the way it hit. I said it looked like, and I told Bossy, and I said, oh, it's just like somebody hit up a pipe, come out, somebody could have come out on a bicycle or something. There could have been kids in the neighborhood. That's exactly what I said. And then I was looking around. I said, y'all got cameras? Anybody else around here got cameras? And he said, yeah. So he went and got the video. And in the video, I, I what I told you I saw, it was true. And then you didn't tell me that yesterday. Yeah. And all, all that would have happened yesterday, I don't, who, 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 who done, who actually shot it? The snake? Or that snake? My brother. How old is he? What, 18? Oh, well, okay, well, he's an adult. But 
all that would have happened normally was something like that, we would have gave a citation. Yeah. You would have paid the citation, it had been done. But because of the comments and the line, and because we call it, and it wasn't just me, it was Bostick. Bostick saw a video before I did. So it ain't me, just me. It was, you know, two of us that saw the video. Um, and uh, another thing is you got to keep in their mind, in the last, what, four or five months now at the most, how many shootings we've had, guns going off up there and everything else. Because we got to respond, we got to do something. If we don't, somebody's going to end up then killing somebody, even if by accident. And he realizes that shooting at a damn snake in the road is a bad decision. If you're going to shoot at a snake, some, not in the roadway, but on private property, find you a shotgun. Yeah, shotgun ain't going to ricochet. That's true. And go as far as that little 9mm or 22 or whatever. And that payment that somebody shot down. But on, on top of that, I'm the one that goes and catches the snake for people. And have before. I don't know if you know that. Okay. I actually responded to, to, to Miss Devers. Her son called the other day. Had a six foot rattlesnake in his yard. You went and caught a snake. I don't think I'll catch him. And I'll yeah, sell him. I don't want nothing to I'll do put them in the back of the truck, put them in the freezer, and I'll take them. A guy I played football with. The freezer? Yeah, you freeze them so the, snack, the hide don't go bad. So I freeze them, and then I'll sell them to a buddy I played football with in high school because he makes leather belts, snake skin boots, leather purses, all that out of snake skin. So that's a $75, $50, $75 snake, six footer. Yeah. Because I get paid for, if it's at least three foot, it's 25 every six inches. Well, it goes up to another 10 Say what now? Say what now? But I only take him, I only take him moccasins and um, rattlesnakes. rattlesnakes. We don't, you can't keep, you, it's, a, it's against the law to, to shoot a oak snake, ain't it? It's against the law to shoot any non venomous snake. If you call the DNR, that's what they'll tell you. <clears throat> it's called the, what is it, the Lucky 13 or the something 13 for the, Venomous and non venomous snakes. Alright. But y'all had an agreement before the police got there about the damage of the vehicle, right? And I already had a suspicion of after he was you know, put in handcuffs, then the guy was like, All that for trying to shoot a snake and I was like Shoot a snake? That ain't that ain't been said till now. Yeah, they didn't know nothing about it till the owner of the property said something about it. And that, then that's when I said, "Well, look." So now this is being said. I don't know if this is what happened or not. That ain't what was said at the beginning. I think this is saying is you could have been honest and upfront and said, "Hey, look, this is fucking what happened. It was an accident." Yes, sir. I think it I didn't treat you no different than I treat anybody else. And I promise you that, and everybody here can tell you that. Yeah, I mean, I watched the I, I did my own cousin, my own family members. I've done it. That just locked them up. I guess what, what we need to do is figure out where we're going to go from here. Well, I pay for the damage. Y'all yeah, had an agreement, so it's a civil matter, but then he, to me personally, it looks like he's trying to, this is just my opinion, it looks like he's trying to double dip. He's gonna get you to pay for the. Uh, he, he, really, <coughs> he, he really did. It was about the damage. He, he wanted it paid for. Yeah. Well, the thing is, if y'all had the agreement, you already said you paid for it. So at that point, it became civil. Part where it came law enforcement and criminals, and we get called, and then all of this has done transpired when it could have just said, Yeah, I knew what happened. It, he done it. We already got an agreement. We already talked about it. If that would have been said yesterday, dude, we would have said, okay, who's hey. going to shoot? Here's your citation for discharging the firearm. firearm. Yeah. Pay that citation. We or go to court about it and work out a payment plan. Because I have no idea how much one of those tickets are. Because you get, your, you'll get, the, you get a court date with every citation. That's all that would have happened yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, because we ain't. Yes, but dude, you tell me about your brother doing well in school and going to college and everything. We don't want to hurt him in any way. Yeah, you know what I mean? Weeks. And it wouldn't have been me issuing a citation. It would have been a deputy. Yeah, it would have been a deputy. It would have been me, but when I get involved and then I see all the big picture and then I'm, and then I'm finding out something different now, I mean, you know. Let us, uh, let's let you go back. Give us a few minutes to talk and we'll come back there.